Good evening, Karina Cavalio with ABC News. One Nation's Malcolm Roberts has testified he's only ever considered himself Australian and only Australian as the High Court hears his dual citizenship case. The Queensland Senator also admitted he sent emails to defunct addresses while trying to renounce his British citizenship. The Constitution bans dual citizens from being elected to federal parliament. The Queensland One Nation Senator faced a grilling in the High Court over the steps he took to renounce his British citizenship. He was born in India to an Australian mother and Welsh father, but today testified he never thought his Australian status was in question. I thought all along and believed all along that I was Australian and only Australian. I believe I have never had citizenship of another country because no one has ever shown me citizenship of another country, he told the court. The court heard, however, that aged 19, he signed a document admitting he was British. Senator Roberts said his then 16-year-old sister had filled it in and he hadn't read it. The court also heard he sent emails to renounce his British citizenship, but they were sent to defunct or incorrect addresses. After not receiving a reply, Senator Roberts followed up with an email asking, am I still a British citizen? When asked why he sent such an email if he didn't believe he was British, Senator Roberts said he was exploring whether it was a possibility. The senator accepted he had no expertise in determining citizenship and admitted he didn't seek legal advice. Do you think believing you're an Australian citizen is a test for a citizen, he was asked. The senator replied, yes. The High Court's full bench will consider the cases of all politicians with questionable citizenship next month. Donna Field, ABC News, Brisbane. Let's go live to Donna Field now. Donna, the High Court has just heard from the UK's Home Office. Yes, Karina, via video link, the citizenship expert from the UK testified very simply that any application to renounce citizenship must be accompanied by a fee or it'll be rejected. Senator Roberts did not pay that fee. Also, an extraordinary evidence late this afternoon, Senator Roberts' own counsel conceded that by his client's own words in that email asking, am I still British, it could be understood that at some level then Senator Roberts believed Believed he was a British citizen. The lawyer went on to say now he's talked himself into a different belief about that and he'll have to deal with that insofar as it affects his credibility about other things he says. Now the court hopes to deliver its findings on this matter late tomorrow. Donna Field there.